What do you suppose this is? I suspect it's alive. Uh, somehow I knew you weren't going to be happy with the hospital food. Oh, look on the bright side. When I'm doubled over with salmonella from tainted eggs, you'll have one more symptom to ignore. Mr. Hoffman, there's nothing wrong with you. You had an MRI with state-of-the-art imaging system and nothing State came State of the art, scans. according to whom? The manufacturing company that rushed it through production and then slapped a sticker on it to stating state of the art to sell more machines? I've been doing this for a long time. I see. You have a wealth of experience ignoring your patient's symptoms and turning them away without treatment. Your golf game must be excellent by now. Actually, I don't play golf, but there are plenty of patients who need this bed. So I can give you a prescription for your migraine headaches oh, and take away more, the pain. Oh, more aspirin? Will you please explain my situation to this pharmaceutical philistine? Dr. Drake, a consult not only? Enjoy your breakfast. Oh, well, well, well. Imagine my surprise when I show up this morning for rounds and Mr. Hoffman's still lying in his bed. Patrick. Robin, there's nothing wrong with the man, so why is he still here? No one's waiting. I checked. And I don't see what is the harm in letting him stay here while we run a few more tests. Well, besides the fact that he doesn't need them, they cost money. He has insurance. Three policies, actually. Do you actually think that I missed something? Or do you identify with our patient there because nobody believes that he's sick? Just like nobody believes that Lisa was messing with you. This is uh, getting to be a habit or a desperate bid for attention. Well, you know a thing or two about desperation, don't you? You know, a lesser woman would just put a pillow on your face and have been done with it. Oh, no, that's not your style. You don't strike me as the praying mantis type. You're a little more subtle. You'd do something that, uh, I don't know, like a, a drug allergy or a bad drug interaction, something that couldn't be traced back to you. Unless, of course, you improperly disposed of a syringe. If you don't get antibiotics, I don't have to worry about anybody finding out how you ended up with it. Lucky I know the doctor who has access to the hospital supply. So, in addition to treating an unreported gunshot wound and further risking my career, you now want me to steal drugs? So, wait, wait, wait a minute. You chase your lover's wife around the hospital trying to inject her with some sort of something or other, but you draw the line of stealing a few antibiotic pills? I am on probation. I can't get off the elevator without people asking why I'm not down in the ER. Have you stopped at all? to consider that if I don't pull through, maybe I left the syringe in a detailed account as to what you plan to do with it with my lawyer? I'm not gonna let you die. I know. Cause you're the best at what you do, Dr. Niles. Okay, lobby's clear, hallways are good. You sure I can't talk you into staying here? Doing what? This proves what I was saying all along. It's a good plan. I mean, if you thought she was me, so will anyone else. Okay, look, we, uh, we're only gonna have one shot at this, so do you, do you know what you're supposed to do? Can we go over it again? Why don't you do the honors? All right. Okay, so you're gonna go into the bank at 64th and Park, carrying your coat over your arm. We'll meet you inside, we'll give you an envelope, you put your coat on and Siobhan's beret. You head out the doors, go two blocks south, wait at a coffee stand in the alley until the Balkans men approach you, and then you meet us back here at the hotel. Sounds like a spy movie. L listen, you, you do understand that there are some potential risks here. You sure you can handle it? That depends. When do I get my money? Hundred bucks now. Another hundred when it's done. Easiest money I ever made. <clears throat> okay, I really hope this works. It will. Trust me. I'm sorry, man. I really should not be laying any of this on you. Hey, look, you need to talk to somebody, right? And Lulu's out of the question, and so is Lucky for obvious reasons. Oh, wow. What are you, what are you really saying that I need to get some friends? <laughs> no, look, I, I know you're talking to me by default. 
And I can't really offer much advice in the ways of relationships, but I, I think I'm I think I'm a good listener. So. <laughs> All right, I keep I keep waiting for this to be over. To look at Brenda and not feel anything. I know Sonny loves her. Or at least he thinks he does. I don't know if he's in love with, with who she is now, though, or, or if he's just trying to recapture some glory they had together from years ago. Yeah, I think a part of why Dad wants to be back with Brenda is because he knows it's going to piss my mom off. Sonny? Uh, it's not a good time. I got to, like, to We need to talk, up. Sonny. You said everything you had to say last night. I don't like how we left things. Well, I, you did the name calling. I didn't. I'm worried about you, Sonny. Can't you see I that? I wish I could believe that instead of you saying things out of spite. But you know what? What I do with Brenda is my business, not yours. I cannot pretend not to see what's in front of me. You're headed for a fall. I know what I'm doing. Not with Brenda. You don't know what you're doing. Okay, is this, is this the part where you call me a junkie? And that, you know, my addiction to Brenda hurts everyone around me? I, I, I don't need an intervention. Are you conveniently forgetting the hell you and Brenda put each other through? What? Well, what about our marriage? It, it wasn't a picnic. Yeah, but we were smart enough to walk away while we were still sane. You won't be that lucky with Brenda. It's none of your business. None of my business. Okay. Let me guess. You have the reunion all planned, huh? Champagne's on ice, chocolate's on the pillow. I really wish I could tell you to try not to ruin this, but it doesn't really matter because nothing you say or do will ruin it. Don't be so sure. The agenda is the proposal from radiology for the new ultrasound system and voting to reinstate the employee of the month program. Okay, well, I don't foresee any board member voting against that. Well, I hope not. Morale's been kind of down since the shooting this summer, and the problems between Lisa and Robin haven't helped matters. Yeah, when is Dr. Mao's probation up? At my discretion. I'm actually thinking of extending it as a courtesy to Robin. She just got back to work, and I really think she could use the time to settle in without having to deal with Lisa. <laughs> Dr. Niles has complied with the terms of her probation. She's done a good job down the ER. Hardly no, seems I got to keep punishing her. Excuse me. Does you have a minute? Yeah, I hope we have a board meeting to get to. Can I wait? Oh, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to let you know I'm keeping Theo for another night. Well, we talked about this. If there's nothing wrong with the guy, he needs to be discharged. The point is, Theo thinks something is wrong. I know. Of course Theo thinks something's wrong. The guy's a hypochondriac. Today it's a tumor. Tomorrow it's his tonsils. We can't keep buying into that. I'm just asking for one more night, please. Theo's all alone in the world. Can't we just show him a little bit of compassion? Hello. Are you clean? Excuse me? 90,000 people a year die from infections they pick up in hospital emergency rooms. You are from the ER, are you not? Yes, I'm the attending. I'm the one who you wanted to speak with. So, uh, what is your emergency, Mr. Hoffman? Hoffman? Mm, not that I expect you to remember. Bedside manner seems to be a thing of the past, along with basic human decency. What passes for patient care these days is abhorrent. Um, I'm sorry, why exactly did you want to speak with me? I'm in desperate need of treatment, but the neurosurgeon on staff would rather see me die from a cranial malignancy than to admit he's wrong. I don't see anything in your tests that indicate an anomaly. Are you capable of an original thought, or do you just drone out the same pablum as the rest of the cretins on staff? In case in point, this buffoon who would rather Turn me out on the street and treat me for a cranial malignancy? A ticking bomb in my frontal lobe? I see you've met Mr. Hoffman. Mm -hmm. Will you excuse me just for a moment? By all means, congratulate each other on your apathy. I'll just lie here contemplating my looming mortality. No 
idea how tempted I am to put it into this thing with Brenda for your own good. You've interfered too much already. I don't even know why, but I just want it to stop. You might care why. <sighs> Carly, what are you doing? I'm trying to save Sonny from himself. It's my life. I don't need you to. You know, if you won't do it for your own sake, why don't you do it for Jason? Whoa, whoa, don't Because it's going to be Jason this. picking Brenda up off the floor after you two implode again, just like it's going to be me sweeping up all the broken glass after you spiral out of control. See, you just love doing this, throwing what happened between me and Brenda in my face, all the bad things. Feel free to step like, in what anytime. Do you, what do you want me to say? The truth. How Sonny's not being fair to anyone, including your precious little Brenda. All I want is Brenda back, and I don't want to have to fight you too. It's not like my mom wants dad back, but she loves Jax. Then why does she care who your dad's with? My dad has bounced from one woman to the next ever since they split up. And nothing's ever lasted because nobody understood what he needs more than my mom did. But now that Brenda's back, it changes things. She's someone he can actually get serious with, and she knows him just as well as my mom did, so. Right, that, that drives your mom crazy. Even though you say, you say that uh, Sonny's only with Brenda to get one over on your mom? Well, I think it's to even the playing field. I don't know, he wants to prove that he can have the same kind of happiness that she has with Jax. This, is so, stupid. this isn't a game. Yeah, I just said my parents. I mean, I grew up watching them play people off each other all of the time. You know what I learned, though? A whole lot of heartache could have been spared. But they were just honest. So what, you, you think I should just go in and tell Brenda how I, how I feel about her? Oh. Hey! Hey. Uh, I should get going. Hi. See ya. Wow. Is everything okay? Mm. I just got a little... Really? Something going on that I should know about? 